guys are going to Wichita Wildlife Refuge and we're going to go to Lower Mount Scott and climb some rocks. Hopefully not die. No one gets hurt. No one goes off the rope. No one, dies. Uh, no one goes, goes off the rope. We tie our stopper knots. All the time. <laughs> All this fucking time, Less right? Alert. Always the tire stop or not. Wait, what happened with the last stop or not? Nothing. Oh, okay. We don't talk about it. We don't talk. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. turn but made a very illegal u-turn saved us about 30 minutes back off of our time and uh so we just slept in like one of these shelters i don't know if we were supposed to do that but we did it now we're cooking our breakfast in the parking lot before we go climb eggs well breakfast burritos and then coffee need the coffee actually though. Yeah, Matt Kashiani, um, I met him here where, where we worked together, but uh, he, he's definitely a really talented climber and very committed to not just climbing, but the, the ethic of climbing and, and the trying new things and stretching himself. He definitely enjoys the, the physical and the technical and the mental challenge of climbing, um, and he's, he's really committed to it. Even kind of being a weekend warrior that will drive easily seven or eight hours for a weekend trip um, to get his climbing in. Uh, he, he definitely has kind of a, a streak of crazy in him where he loves to do things that are hard and he loves to do them in a way that, that doesn't necessarily think about what will happen if he were to fall because he just doesn't plan on falling. He's, he's a really talented, very strong climber that, that's very committed to it and very good at it. What the heck is this even? And right mount, mount the car. <laughs> There's no parking. Oh wow, it is fucking windy. Yeah. That's gonna be sketchy. I hate being exposed to these things. Yeah. I hate. Oh, that's the wind. Yeah. I initially started getting into climbing. My very first climbing experience was when I was 13-ish. I was with my Boy Scout troop. Um, we went to Joshua Tree, which is one of the largest climbing areas in Southern California. And I'm mean, really the United States rock climbing has pretty much started there in, in ways. Um, so I did that. Uh, we went on a few trips here and there with my Boy Scout troop and I didn't really climb all that much up until I got to TCU. And then when I got a job at the rock climbing wall, I started climbing recreationally just for fun. And then I really got a serious about climbing about two years ago after I went on a trip to um, a bouldering trip to Bishop, California. Okay, so what's about to happen, Matt? I'm gonna climb this like 70 foot sport route up these three or four roofs okay. and then I'm gonna hopefully not fall. That's about it. So let's hope I don't botch this first clip. What happens if you, what's the first clip? Right there. Right, right above that first roof. And if I Botch that, I come down this, I roll 
roll down there. But he's gonna roll down with me. Yeah. Put in the crack and then expands like that. So when you fall on this part, it just like expands more and gets tighter in the crack. Here it is. Pretty hard. Yeah, I always throw a cam in yeah, I might. underneath there, but right before you step over, it's just pretty spooky. It's just sketchy, like climbing on this stuff. So thin and hard. I got you real tight. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. All right. Um, means that if he falls he's gonna touch the ground. Don't talk about that. Oh that's not gonna happen. There's no way you're gonna dag Matt. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Good job. All right. Pulling rope. Good job. All right. Let me get off the ledge. Climbers are willing to go to immense lengths, go extremely far, drive throughout the night, like forever, like eight. 10, 12 hours to go find some rocks in the middle of nowhere and camp out, kind of eat like shit, get really, really freaking dirty, but we're having the times of our lives. So, I mean, that's one of my favorite things about climbing is like, normal life goes out the window. Like, it really, really does. Like, I don't think about anything but climbing when I'm climbing. Just, it doesn't matter how you look, it doesn't matter really like what you smell like. Uh, it, all that matters is like climbing and where you're at at that time. I, I climb because it's my form of, it sounds really cliche, but meditation. I don't think about anything when I'm climbing and that's all that matters to me. It, that really moment in what I'm doing currently because I put so much of my life into it and so much of my social life and everything is centered around climbing is that it just means so much to me. I, I would be lying if I said I didn't, don't get scared. I think, it, I think it's something natural and something like is, that is good, but there's a, there's a huge macho mentality around climbing, but at the end of the day, like everyone gets scared. I don't care who you are. Like you, you do get scared when you're up there and like, your life is on the line. It, what it is like when you're climbing, what it should feel like is you're just flowing. Like you're moving through the rock. Like you, you're just, every single thing you feel so confident about. It's just like you're walking up a rock. But a lot of times, like if this is your first time climbing something and you're really pushing yourself, you are just trying so hard to like, find things to hold on to and put your feet on and you're just like in these awkward positions like holding on to these tiny like holds and just like 
holding your breath and just like trying really, really freaking hard. 